so let's start the show. I don't know if you're aware, but not to be not to be confused with Nick on probation. I'll this Joe in jail. Feeney oh, yeah. will not be appearing on the show. So I'll see you later, Joe. Until you set. Thank you. Uh, all right, yo, all the way from London town with the hot news, Billy Body. Boom, hit it. Hey, can I start by reading the story that I said that I said you guys this week because. Um, you sent us a actually, story. Let me see. Oh, let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did send a story. Right. Yeah, from my website. Because actually, I, uh, I, I sent this one particularly to you guys because Conan has been intrigued by this story for a few weeks. So I actually found out where we got where they're trying to go with it. So the story between Derry McMahon is being overseen by a guy called Johnny Russo, who's no relation to Vince. Uh, Russo was formerly writing for the women's division, and he's now been promoted to the lead writer of NXT. He's a writer that Vince McMahon likes and trusts, and um, I'll, I'll leave the joke out. Um, McMahon's current flavor of the month is exclusively involved with Raw to oversee this story only, and he's believed to be the brainchild behind the upcoming feud with Pat McAfee. According to my sources, the direction of the Theory McMahon story is for Theory to begin to manipulate McMahon to further his career. While Austin Theory was originally seen as a McMahon lackey and sucker by... The pe- by the very people here on this podcast noticed that as well. Um, I'm told that this was written deliberately as a trust building period and somewhat of a rib on Johnny Ace, who is a notorious McMahon suck up who gained more power from doing it. And that we are now moving on to the next phase of the story. This is why Austin Derry picked up Vince McMahon's pencil this week, which was said to symbolize the booking pencil according to Russo's vision. I've got something to add on this. Okay. I've got a, I've got news. Uh, Johnny Russo was very instrumental, along with Jeremy Borash, in the production of Kevin Cross's character. And uh, I heard I heard oh, really? uh, Cross spoke very highly of Johnny Russo's work. So he's actually like they they actually have a good little had a good little crew down there at NXT with 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 Borash and you know this guy Johnny Russo and stuff and all that. You know you you can see it at NXT the um you know the shows were actually pretty good for a while. You know when we were watching it when Cross was on and everything and all that. So. Uh, so well, this guy, this guy, this guy's in charge of 2.0. So he may, I don't know what, 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 if he moved over from the women's division to run that, but it sounds like, according to you, uh, he's, he's been in NXT for a bit. Involved. He's been in NXT for okay. a bit. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. I mean, sometimes like I get sent stuff and I don't really ask any second, third questions and yeah. just leave it. But, well, you know, yeah. maybe after so many years of terrible writers, they finally found a real good one and, and he's got good ideas and they're going with him. And all it takes is one good writer, or one big superstar to turn <laughs> around. Cause I hate raw and I thought this week's raw was pretty good. Yeah. Well, this, one of the uh, things, go ahead. One, sorry, one of the things just to pick, just to say that, that I've always been told is that the writers are good. And there's a lot, there have been really good writers that have just given up and just left. Yeah, but um, Vince Vince enough. Vince shoots down like I've I've talked to uh, 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 some WWE writers. It's unbelievable how much good st- like there's usually a lot of consensus on good stuff, and Vince will just shoot it all down. And you know, there, like, you, like there's, you, yeah, you, yeah. you have a point there, Billy, because somebody that's in the company, which I can't name, but he he actually told me, bro, this is where 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 creative ideas come to die. He goes, you come here and creatively you get stifled, and and it's very hard to work here. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. That's that's what happened to me when I was um, put, putting ideas through Road Dog on Twitter, um, and um, and I also sent ideas. I had ideas to Paul Heyman, like that. Like they they said the same things. Like I I did say I did pitch this, and they said no. I did pitch this, I said no. Like uh, yeah. So it, it's I know what I know how it works, but yeah, I know about other like talented writers, like loads of loads of writers, the guys that people like to work with, guys that Bray like to work with, guys that. Drew like to work with, and they they they've all gone. Interesting. 